Hey guys, this is Colin Warren, the Kooks in Space Structures team lead. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to create a threaded hole for various part that you're making. Uh, so you can take a bolt, in this case a M3 bolt, and thread it in there and clamp various parts together uh, using uh, go figure clamping force that's created by taking the circular motion of a bolt and which converts that circular motion into a linear force uh, which allows you to take two parts together and smack and clamp them together and I don't know how many times I can say the same thing uh, so we'll just get into the specific details so first you want to figure out how big of a bolt you're going to be clamping your two parts together in this case for all the CubeSat parts we've been making we'll be using M3 bolts uh, so once we figure out the bolt we're going to be using, um, you want to figure out, okay, we have an M3 times 0.5 pitch, um, I think, unless you're really weird, uh, most M3s are made in that. Uh, so just make sure you know, okay, what your thread is, uh, thread size, so in this case M3, pitch, in this case it's 0.5. Uh, and then once you do that, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create the hole that you want to put the bolt in. Now the... I guess the things you should pay attention to when creating that hole uh, is well first <laughs> make sure the hole is deep enough that the bolt's screwed all the way in, it fits it in. Uh, but the other thing is you want to make the hole slightly smaller than the actual bolt itself. And how much smaller, you may be asking, um, that can be found out uh, through various uh, tap drill size charts. So in our case, we're working in the metric system. Uh, so I would look for a M3 tap size, or tap drill size, or I would look for a metric tap drill size chart, and there would be a big chart with like, okay, if you have an M6 bolt, uh, what size hole do you need to make? Uh, or if you're making an M2 because you're just crazy and you have tiny fingers, uh, what size of hole you need to make for that? Uh, so that's what I look at. If we were working in the Imperial system, like a Cro-Magnon, uh, you would use an Imperial system tap drill size chart and for like an eighth inch hole or for an eighth inch um, for yeah like an eighth inch uh, threaded bolt uh, they have your own various sizes I don't remember the number off the top of my head because it's completely completely created and we should totally switch over to the metric system uh, but my little little side right aside uh, all you need to care about is okay figure out your bolt uh, look at a chart make sure you're making the hole the size it needs to be for this bolt to go in so, now that you have, okay, I figured out what bolt I'm using. I made the hole for the bolt. How do I put this in there? Because if you're noticing, it's too small and it's not quite going in. So, the tool you use is called a tap. And there are multiple types of different taps. Uh, and you will want to use different ones depending on the type of material because these will tend to break easily, especially if you're trying to tap harder materials like steel or aluminum. Because right now I'm trying to tap PLA, which is very forgiving. Um, I can get away with using what's called a end tap, which involves uh, at least the thing that delineates it, and I'm not sure how well you can see here, uh, so I'll post like a picture of the different taps you can see, is that an end tap uh, will have its various little thread clearing um, bits. It will pretty much extend all the way to the end of the tap versus, I think it's like a taper tap, uh, it will uh, the initial part of the bit will be, uh, there won't be any little threads instead, it will kind of have like a little kind of co drill shape, uh, so it allows the threads to start really easily, um, especially for harder materials, because if you try to go in with this without um, init getting the groove started, uh, you would almost certainly break this, uh, so you use something like a taper tap uh, to get the thread started, and then, uh, especially for like features like this, where the bit you want to get as much of the uh, inner hole uh, tapped as possible, uh, you would use an end an end tap uh, so you can get as much as many millimeters as possible of threads going in. Uh, so you, yeah, so once you figure it out, okay, what material you're using in this case for a cube set, we're gonna be using PLA or aluminum. Uh, you want you figured out your tap uh, because we're using PLA and it's very forgiving. I'm gonna use an end mill. So now it's very basic. Uh, you take the hole, it's size correctly, and you want to make sure it's as perpendicular to the part as possible. So you don't want leaning it that way or that way at all, forward back. Uh, you want it pretty much straight on. 
uh, and then you want to just start twisting. I mean, the first kind of few threads is going to be the part where you have to be most careful because uh, you want to make it as straight as possible. I'm going to check this side. It's looking pretty good. I do a little adjustment. And now you just kind of go to town. So now the few, few first kind of inside thread parts have caught. And now you just kind of start just twisting. And this is just where you just kind of grind. <laughs> just keep twisting, keep twisting. And it'll start creating little threads. Just kind of go all the way, we'll however deep you need to make the hole, or until you cut through the part. In this case, I'm just going to kind of go most of the way through. So now I think I've, uh, because this is a 10 millimeter long bolt, I think this is plenty of thread I've tapped, uh, or grooves I've tapped for it, so I'm just going to reverse the process. Don't try to pull it out, twist it out. Uh, for threads and jet, or taps in general, you want to twist in, twist out, don't pull out. Uh, when it's towards the end, it'll naturally twist out like a bolt would. Uh, and then we'll sort of just keep twisting and twisting and twisting until you get tired of twisting and then you realize you have 20, 30, 40 more bolts, holes to tap and then you begin to question what field you've gotten into. And once you're done questioning what field you got into, your tap will finally be out of your hole. And now you can take your bolt, put it in, and we twist. Look at that. It twists right in. Now I can take it and shake it. Fits like a, fits in like a charm, and I can twist it out, and I can find another plate, and I can clamp them together using a bolt, and everything is right in the world, at least for this given part. So that was a quick tutorial on tapping. Uh, if you're part of the Cousin Space Structure team, you'll be doing it a lot. Uh, so get used to doing that, creating the hole size, choosing the correct hole size, uh, choosing the right tap part, making it perpendicular, and then just getting used to twisting and twisting and twisting and twisting a lot till you're sick of it. Um, yeah, there you go. I think that's all you really need to know for a quick crash course. Um, yeah, this has been Colin Warren from Cruise in Space. Hopefully this has been helpful. And yeah, I don't have any cheesy catchphrase to sign out with, so I'll sign out with catch you later.